In this video, I'll show you how to set up your iPhone with your HP and Vi Inspire printer. This way you'll be able to print and also scan using your iPhone. So let's get started. So the first step on your HP printer, press the home button on the screen. Then you're gonna press the top part of the screen. Press the top left part where you see a cog wheel. Over here, you're gonna go down select network setup then select wireless settings make sure that wireless is turned on then you're going to go down and select wireless setup wizard yes it will search for your wi-fi network select it from the list and now type the password of your wi-fi network press done once you're done typing the password then press ok the printer will now connect to your Wi-Fi network. Press OK since the connection is now successful. Go on the App Store on your iPhone and search for the HP Smart App. Download it and open. You should get this screen and since we already connected the printer to your Wi-Fi network, we're going to press the second option here. Then select your printer that should be in the list. The printer has been added to the app. If we check on the top here, you should see it. You can click on it and you'll have a few options that you can change. Now let me show you how to print. I'm going to go down in this main menu and select print documents. You'll need to sign in into your HP account if you want to print or scan using your iPhone, unfortunately. Making an HP account is free, only takes a few seconds. If you don't have one, click Create Account. If you have one, click Sign In. Okay, now that I am signed in, I'll select the file that I want to print. So I'll go ahead and select this one. Then go over here, lower left side, and press Print Preview. Click on this gray arrow, and you'll get all the details about your print. So how many copies, if you want to print on one side or both sides, if you want in color or black and white, the paper size that it will be printed on, orientation, just leave it automatic, and then press more options, and you'll have the quality here. If you're printing pictures, I suggest you click here and select best. If you're simply printing a text document, leave it automatic i think it does a very good job but for pictures you absolutely want the best quality and then scaling don't touch this go back and now press the print button we got our print now let me show you how to use the scanner take your document and you're going to place it facing down with the top part of your document towards the left side this way then you're going to bring this corner of your page so it touches this corner of the scanner okay simply take your finger and glide until both are touching then close the scan lid on your smartphone we're going to go back on the main menu page on the main menu go down and select printer scan then click up there and you're going to get the details of your scan. So uh, make sure that the size of your paper is the same as the one that it's saying here. The source scanner glass. If you have a printer with a top document feeder on the top, you're going to, um, you'll be able to choose it here by clicking uh, where it says source. Then you have resolution. Usually 200 dpi is enough for many documents, but if you're scanning an artwork or a picture or even a painting, choose the highest number over here. It will give you the best details. But for text, 200 is plenty enough. And then if you want the scan to be in color or in black and white. Once you're uh, okay with whatever is here, go back and gonna press the scan button. You're going to get a preview here and you're going to have some options at first. So you have auto or um, where the app itself will try to 
um, put a square or whatever around a portion of your document it thinks you want to, to save. If you want to save the whole document, you can press full so the whole thing will be saved. And I think most people will want that. So make sure that you click full if this is what you want. And then you're going to press next. And from here, you will be able to rotate the scan if it's not whatever, if it's not what you want. You'll be able to text extract or even scribble if you want to uh, make some annotation on this scan. You can even go ahead and by clicking on it, zoom in. So you make sure there is enough details and everything got scanned properly. And if you want to uh, combine multiple pages, let's say you want a PDF of five different pages. Well, you just need to put over here the next page of your document and on the top press add. It will scan the next one and this way you'll be able to have multiple pages in your document. Once you're ready, over here you can print whatever you scanned or you can also share it. By clicking the share button, you'll be able to give this scan a new name. So you can edit this and put your own personal name or whatever. If you go over here, you'll be able to select the file type. If you're scanning, obviously, uh, JPEG is mostly for images. PDF is for anything that is text or graphics. I mean, you probably already know that, but just to remind you. Then you have language and stuff like that. You don't need to touch anything and press the share button. Down below, you'll be able to have a few options to share it on social media, on email. And if you have any contacts, you'll see them here so you can share with them quickly. Let me just go back. And then you also have the option to save on your phone. By clicking this, you can give a name to your document. Again, select the file type and press save. File, file save to the media folder on your device. Press OK and this is about it. There's an option here to fax, but honestly, I never used it and I think no one will use it. So this is it. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. First of all, make sure that this screen is turned on and then you're going to press on the top part of the screen like this. So this menu goes down. Then you're going to press the cog wheel that is on the top left corner. Press it once. And in this menu, we need to go down this way simply by sliding like on your smartphone until you see printer maintenance. Click on this option. Then you're going to go down until you see restore. And now we have multiple options. What you need to do if you want to factor reset, which means to reset absolutely every settings inside, Wi-Fi, contacts, the pairing with your phone, the pairing with your computer, absolutely everything, you need to click on Restore Factory Defaults. And over here, it will simply inform you, inform you all configure settings in the printer will be deleted, the original factory settings will be restored, including the following, and here you can read, because they will simply tell you what will get erased, which is everything. Press continue and wait. You don't have to touch anything. The printer will shut down and also restart by itself. It usually takes less than one minute. So simply be patient. All right. So now that we have this screen, it simply means that everything is done. You're going to hear the printer making some noises. It will stop after a few seconds. And this is about it. You're now ready to set up your printer once again from the beginning.